Moving from that to what you do as one of the organizers of Black History Month in this region we're in. Um, I need to show you a video, right? I, I need to show you a video by, uh, <laughs> it was an interview of uh, Morgan Freeman. He's yes. one of my favorite actors ever, right? I okay. really respect the man, but he's done a video uh, of a couple of years ago. Uh, I need to show you that video and I want to know what you think about it. Right, so yeah, show the video what? now. History month you find ridiculous. Why? You're going to relegate my history to a month? Oh, come on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is white history month? No, well, no, 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 come on, tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month is Jewish history month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, 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 I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a black history month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? And Stop kill? talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. You know what I'm saying? I know this white guy named Mike Wallace. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Okay. So, what do you think about uh, Morgan Freeman's thoughts about the Black History Month? Morgan Freeman. Got to give credit to Morgan, Morgan Freeman. As you said earlier, he's also one of my most favorite black actors as well. Uh, he's brought some great images to the screen with the thought of what TV is out there to do. And seeing him in that interview, um, Morgan Freeman lives in a very different world than we do. He really does. And okay. that that point of view of, I, I think about that as well. And I'm often asked that question, why do you do Black History Month? Now, with the thought of the point of view that Morgan Freeman made, uh, I have those feelings as well as seeing people as who they are, not as a white person, not as a Chinese person, not as an Eastern European, but you're a person, you're not white. But then when he points that out, he points it out in a very, uh, a very dynamic way, whereas a person in his position can not so much afford to do that, but they can feel more comfortable with their lifestyle living among those people because they are in, he's in the same situation as they're in, whereas... Being wealthy and the development of wealth is one of the things that we as black people have been not as progressive or as aggressive to be able to obtain it. Where Morgan Freeman as a popular celebrity living a luxurious lifestyle, well, I say luxurious lifestyle, living, a, living the American dream. That's right. He's in a position where he is recognized when he walks into a room. Michael Jordan made a comment in his book. When I walk into a restaurant or a grocery store or a supermarket, the first thing they see is the nigga. Then they recognize who I am. Now they want to kiss my ass. <laughs> Dynamic statement and in, in understanding what he's saying, I have had similar experiences. I've lived here for a number of years, and one of the things that I've noticed about me interacting with other, other people here, one of the first things they see when they see me is, or when they, the idea of knowing me, I'm an American. Of course, the first thing they see is the black man. Really? But no. The first thing they see is the black man. And the thought of how they react to that as the black guy. Right. Uh, but then in getting to know me, I feel as though I'm seen more as an American. 
not as a black American. Right. When I go home, I get the Michael Jordan experience. As we're trying to read. When I'm asked that question, why do we do Black History Month? Because, and I answer that um, with a strong rebuttal. The thought of what Black people have contributed to the lifestyle and the lives that we live now is not recognized. And we need to continue to make the effort to make those contributions known to everyone, not just our youth, our black youth, because of course it is something that I'm a strong advocate about as well. They should know their history. Yet, what I liken that to sometimes is preaching to the choir. Mm. Where what we need to do is we need to work harder to get the word out to other people and adult whites and let them have a better understanding of who we are and how we want to celebrate our lives and how we see ourselves 